today's video I'm going to break down exactly how you stop crossing routes in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, basically what my channel is designed to do is it's designed to help you improve in Madden 21. Designed to teach you different strategies, different tips and tactics, some simple, some more complex. And so if you're looking to get better at the game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And we're going to jump into today's video. All right, guys, crossing routes are an issue. So if you have not played Madden 21 yet, uh, or maybe you're just getting the game, or maybe you've been playing it for a little while, you know that crossing routes, specifically the ones out of Y cross uh, and PA read out of, you know, different trips tied in or uh, bunch sets, these are really, really difficult to stop. In fact, I can run any defense whatsoever. And what you're going to find is if I run crossing routes, crossing routes beat man to man, and they also beat zone coverage in this game. So you'll see here this crossing route is going to get inside position and normally I'm going to be able to beat that as long as I have a good route runner there. I can also beat it to the left. So if I go Y cross here, what you're going to see again, this little Y cross is one of the best plays in Madden 21 because you're going to see that deep crossing route is going to oftentimes get open open against uh, man or against zone. Uh, good old uh, Mercedes Lewis might be a little bit too slow, but we'll show you here. You'll see eventually um, this gets open from other formations as well. I'll show you one other formation specifically that it gets open uh, against that's actually really good. I don't know why Aaron Rodgers is throwing inaccurate passes, but let me show this to you out of like trips, uh, trips tight end or trips uh, offset, and we'll show you that these crossing routes are an issue. Uh, this year, not just out of spread, but also out of like tray offset. So this play PA post shot, what you're going to see here is this crossing route to Devontae Adams is going to get really, really good separation against most zone coverage. And I can just pass lead that down and away, and you'll see Devontae Adams is oftentimes going to get wide open. And now a lot of times what you'll also see is maybe they'll motion over um, and do a little slant streak combo on the backside here. And you'll see that this is also going to help um, open up the crossing route. And there you see Devontae Adams is able to get wide open. So crossing routes are kind of hard to stop. In fact, there's no zone in the game, really. And that's what made crossing routes so important to have in your offense because there's really no zone in the entire game that's going to be able to stop these. And if you have a good route uh, apprentice type of um, type of quarterback, uh, maybe you have hot route master on him, or maybe you have a slot apprentice or a tight end apprentice, you're going to be able to put two crossing routes on the field. So I want to show you how to stop that uh, today. I want to show you specifically how to just stop the crossing route in general and just talk a little bit about, you know, just a couple of concepts that you can utilize. So the best way to stop crossing routes is to use kind of a bracketed coverage and a coverage that a lot of people are using this year, and that is to run uh, zone drops. Now, you might not know how zone drops work in Madden 21, but they're actually really, really useful. It's probably one of the best defensive adjustments that Madden has to offer to you this year. Year, um, specifically how these zone drops will play really really well against all kinds of defenses uh, or all kinds of offenses so what you want to do is you want to go into coaching adjustments and what I like to do is take my curl flats and put them at 25 yards 25 yards is going to adjust the drop depth for the curl flats so then I can come out and nickel three three five nickel you know two four five it doesn't really matter but any play that has a purple zone so cover three sky I can also create them so like if I run cover two man you'll see here I can put my uh, safeties and purple zones. This is probably the best way to stop this, but what you're going to see is these purple zones now, that same crossing route that's, that was getting wide open over all of the zones on the right side of the field, you see how the purple zone is now in the vicinity of the play. Now, you could drop these to 25 yards, or you can also drop them to 20 yards. Now, I personally think that 20 yards gets the job done and actually does well against other things as well, but here you see there's that cover three uh, sky, and you have a defender right in that vicinity that's a click on easy interception. Let me show you you what happens i want to show you two other specific zone drop adjustments that you can do the first one is to take your zone drops your curl flats and put them at 20 yards and then what we're going to do is put our flats at 25 now again this is just for stopping crossing routes it's not for stopping everything so we're going to put our uh, curl flats at 20 yards and i just want to show you how this looks against a crossing route uh and again we're going to go gun tray offset and what you'll see is this deep crossing route on the um, coming from left to right here. You see how the purple zone is going to play it. It's going to stop it. There's just not a window of opportunity for them to throw the ball. Now, one other little trick that I really like to use this year, actually really, really enjoy it because of the fact that deep halves and deep uh, deep halves don't get glitched out as much. And so if you run some type of cover two uh, scheme with the deep halves and a deep middle third, that actually does fairly well in my opinion. So I'm going to put, um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in the dagger play. 
and I'm going to put those cloud flat drops at 20 yards, just like the curl flat. So I'm just going to keep them the same. And for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these uh, flats at 20 yards, and then I'm going to drop the curl flats down to like 10 or 5. Okay, 5 to 10 yards, nothing more. And what you're going to see is I'm going to come back out in my nickel 3 through 5, and we're going to go with some Tampa 2 defense. So what you'll see is dagger with this deep crossing route left to right, you're going to see that this uh, light blue flat zone is actually going to play this most of the time. So if I block my running back here, practice mode sheds are a little bit crazy. But what you'll see here as this crossing route comes over the field, you see that that flat zone is in the vicinity. And he's going to get the interception every single time. So they're not able to run those deep crossing routes that they love to run. They're also not going to be able to run um, as many corner routes uh, either. So, for example, if I were to go to um, the Z spot play out of the gun open flex, it's got a corner route to the right side of the screen. Here you see Shepard. Now, if you notice where he's going to get open um, is going to be about at that yard mark. So you're going to see he's going to drop back, drop, 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 drop. And you see that Alexander is going to pick this off. This is 20 yard cloud flats. So then what's going to happen is if I were so then what's going to happen and what you probably have seen or witnessed at some level. And this is what how I would recommend running this specific play. I would just take your running back and put him on a wheel route. That's all I do. Just put him on a wheel route. And if they're in zone coverage and they're dropping back, you see here, I can automatically throw this ball to Jones and it's going to get 15 yards just because of the zone drop, right? Because I've set that I've set that precedent that my zones are going to drop back over 20, over 15 to 20 yards. And so what you can do as offensive players, you can just take the flat, take the flat, take the flat. Well, now I'm going to add one little simple adjustment to this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my defensive lineman on the left side and I'm going to put him into a purple zone, a curl flat zone. And because I've set my zone drops, he is now going to play this route and oftentimes um, will go as far to sometimes intercept it. But he will now play two specific types of routes that I want to talk about. The first type of route is the drag route. So you'll see right here, if I just drag this receiver, you see when he gets to the sideline, he's going to get upfield and get about 15 yards. Well, now what you're going to see is when you take these outside guys here, like Gary, and put him into a uh, purple zone, this route is going to play short, and there's no window really to complete this. Yes, you can complete it, but it's for two yards. So you now have a zone coverage that you can really practically create. This is called Mabel coverage, right? Mabeling one side of the field. But literally all we're going to do, we're going to do it on both sides of the field here. So now you're taking the outside patterns away, and then there's really the only read that you've got to cover with your user is that deep in route. So this is just a simple way to stop crossing routes. You can do this from purple zones or from flat zones. All you have to do is just go into your coaching adjustments and set those drops at 20 yards for the flat zones and five yards for the curl flat zones. Those or vice versa, right? So if you wanted to stop them with purples, you would put these at 20 and you put these at five or 10, depending on how you wanted to run that. So that's what I would recommend in my personal opinion, um, doing for flat zones, cloud flats to stop crossing routes in Madden 21. If you would like to sign up, I have right now a free membership that you can sign up to get. It's my texting membership. So basically how it works is you send me a text message right now. My number's on the top left of the screen. My number's 812-216-3644. So you send me a text message and you let me know, hey, Cody, I want to sign up for the text message membership. What that's going to get you is every single week um, at the beginning of the week, so on Mondays, I'm going to be sending out a recap exclusive tip update for what I saw in weekend league, what I saw in competitive Madden and what you can learn. And a lot of these are going to be pro tips, advanced concepts, advanced tactics that you probably won't see on a lot of YouTube channels, but that is going to be very, very impactful and very, very helpful. And so if you want to sign up for some of those exclusive tips and strategies, I want to encourage you right now, pull out your phone, shoot me a quick text, a hundred percent free um, and a hundred percent very, very simple. So I'd just love for you guys to do that guys we do also have a discord where you can join together with me and with other madden players um, to be able to talk madden and just network that way and we have three more videos coming for you today on youtube we also have some videos for you to check out on the screen and we'll be streaming tonight at uh, probably 10 o'clock p.m eastern time thanks for your time we'll see you tonight